Hey Virgo, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your last week of June general love reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that is watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So for Virgo, Someone Rising and Venus Individuals, when I was meditating over you all's energy, the song that I got was Someone Like You by Adele. Now Adele happens to be a Taurus, so you can be dealing with a Taurus, Someone Rising, Venus Individual, or there could have been an ending in Taurus season, which is April, May time frame. Now I want to tell you guys the part that keeps standing out over and over and over and over again for me. Every time I hear it, it'll I'll hear the instrumental part of the song, and then I'll hear just this block, just this block of lyrics, and then it stops. Um, never mind, I'll find someone like you, and I want nothing but the best for you. A lie, a lie, a lie, a lie. Let me tell you, let me tell you the truth about this. I feel like somebody does not want the best for you. And what's so crazy about the situation when I'm picking up is that they were the ones who caused the problem. Either cheating, being disrespectful, not being um, consistent. I feel like it's just something about this person. Like, they're the reason you guys are not together. Yet here they are hoping and wishing that you don't move on. I feel like for some of you all, this person still follows you on social media. For some of you all privately, for some of you all, you know that this person is watching you, okay, keeping tabs on you. Because I feel like for some of you all, you're kind of like, I want them to see that I'm going to move on. I want them to see that I'm doing better. I want them to see, like, all I asked was for this, and they couldn't even give me that. And so now I'm going to move on with someone who will give me that because I'm deserving of it. And I feel like this person may be saying, like, literally, if you post a selfie or a video of you and this person out and about, this person is commenting, like, congratulations, blah, blah, blah. They don't mean it. They don't mean it. I feel like this person is really salty. I, to be honest with you, I'm really getting, like, this person's pissed that you, they, that you wouldn't let them play in your face. And for some of y'all, I'm hearing continue. Because I feel like for quite a few of y'all, you gave them a chance and an opportunity time and time and time again until you were like, okay, you run all out of, you know, chances. The buck stops here. And this person thought, and, and for a lot of you all, I am getting like revolving door stuff. Like you'll, you'll take a break, you'll block this person, you'll unblock this person. They'll reach out, then they dis disappear again. And this person thought that you were going to continue to do this same song and dance with them. And when they realize that you're moving on, oh, it's just going, I mean, it's burning their biscuits, just burning them all the way up. You understand what I mean? burning them up for some of you all even if you're not dating someone i feel like just posting selfies looking good you know people giving you really nice compliments on your photos and if you're not someone who does stuff like that like say for instance you're posting like memes like relationship type memes if you post something like that and it kind of sounds like okay i'm moving on i'm ready to you know get out there and date again i literally feel like somebody's watching this and they're then they're, they may comment and say yeah you should you're an excellent person blah 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 just bullshitting because they know deep down inside they do not want you to move on because that means you're not going to entertain them anymore and it's so funny when i stop with the shuffling it's so crazy how the cards always somehow seem to literally be associated with the, the messages that we're picking up currently at the bottom of the deck you have the hangman stuck in limbo this person is not happy for you they're still one way or another, they're still stuck on you or stuck on the idea that you guys will continue to come back together whenever they feel, you know, it's necessary or whenever they feel like they want to reach out, they feel like you're going to allow them to keep coming back. I feel like you guys are letting this person go. I feel like the universe is forcing you to let this person go. Okay? Because the hangman is major arcana. That's definite. That's, that's one of the highest vibrational frequencies of spirit messages. This, this is like, okay, this is done because he's bound here. But then if you notice, the pinnacles are being released. I feel like the universe is forcing this person out of your life or forcing you out of someone's life. This person has a lot of hangups also. You see how you have many um, chains here. This person has a lot of hangups, possibly even has a lot of attachments to different people. That may have been the, the last thing for you. Also, like, okay, enough is a damn enough, you know. So I'm getting that as well. So let's change the cards at the top and the bottom. Then we're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the hermit. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we will get clarifiers for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. Currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the Wheel of Fortune, Faded and Destined situations. And guess what? Your luck is changing. Okay, you have new love coming in. For some of you all, you will meet somebody new in Leo season if you are single. Leo season is July, August time frame. 
Um, for others, you may be someone who is a Leo sun or a Leo rising sign. You may also be a Leo rising sign if you are a Virgo sun. You also could be on a Leo Virgo cusp as well, okay? Whatever the case, when you have major, kind of like I said, there's definite energy, the will of fortune, faded in the distance, uh, destiny. This is faded. It's faded for you to, first of all, it's faded for you to connect with this person because I feel like you, you were learning lessons. Okay, no more monkey business because you see how this is like going at the going towards the bottom of the of the wheel here. No more monkey business. There's a monkey right there. You're done with that. You've learned lessons. You're stronger now. You get what I'm saying? Like currently, this is the current energy. You're stronger now, and then blessings and abundance is coming towards you. The mon the monkey business, the BS is going out. The abundance is coming in, and you're much stronger than you were before. This person was meant to come into your life to teach you how to be strong, how to be powerful, how to walk in your truth, how to not allow people to play in your face. You see how his face is looking directly at us? You can't see his face is not directly looking at us. Neither is this one. You are facing yourself. And also, I feel like for some of you all, you may be quite vicious if this person tries to come back towards you because we all know a lion is quite vicious, right? So let's see what we get for a Virgo. <laughs> I said vicious and then you have a knight. Knights going to battle. They ready for battle. So a lot of you all, it's like if this person tries to come back towards you, you ain't going to be none of the BS. Not anymore. So let's see what we get. Look, you guys are quite strong. And some of you all definitely have a Leo coming towards you or you're, you know, a Leo. You may have tried to tame a Leo because she has this lion on a chain. Okay. So the person could be a new Leo coming in. Love could be coming in in Leo season. And if you're confused with that, it's like, okay, now you're saying too many things. Hear me out. If you are not dealing with a Leo or someone who has strong Leo placements in their chart, then guess what? You're going to be meeting somebody in Leo season if you are single. If you were dealing with a Leo, okay, it, it makes me feel as though this person, they like to play games. You can be dealing with a playmaster, like someone who is like one minute, they're all in, next minute, they're not. They're ghosting you. Okay, you have a lover. He's here in spirit, but he's not there physically. You get what I'm saying? Major Arcana, Gemini. For some of y'all, something may have ended in Gemini season. And we just left Gemini season, so getting that energy for someone out there. And then you have the Five of Cups, sadness, sorrow, grief, depression. This person's going to be salty as hell when they see you move on, Okay. Um, you do have water energy, Cancer by Scorpio. We just tiptoed our way into cancer season. For some of y'all, this person is coming to a realization like, okay, she, she, he or she, they're, they're really not messing with me. They're really not responding to my phone calls or texts or messages. They're serious this time. They, they're realizing that they're defeated. But here's the thing, they defeated themselves. No one else is to blame. There's no one else out there but this person. So this is their, per this is their own undoing, okay? So let's find the hermit. And the card that comes before and the card that comes after. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. The Hermit. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. It's interesting because as I'm hearing, the, I'm hearing the song again in my head, never mind, I'll find someone like you. So I feel like somebody idolized a specific person. Like they were like, this is my perfect person. They look the way I want, you know, that I'm physically attracted to this person, sexually attracted to this person. They make good money. They live in the area. Or they have a good family, blah, blah, blah. But it's just like this person wouldn't commit. Because just thinking about the part, never mind. I feel like they're saying like, don't worry about it. You don't have to do it. I'll find somebody who has all the traits that I thought that you had. I'm getting that also. So again, you want the hermit. There you go. So you have the hermit. Right in front of the hermit, we have, okay, Ace of Wands. Okay, I'm going to tell you something again. For some of you guys, new love's coming in a Leo season. Ace is our gift from the universe. That hand is either accepting or pushing. You see how he's going right in that direction? It's like going towards the future. Some of you guys are getting ready to meet somebody in Leo season, or you're getting ready to meet a Leo. I feel like for a lot of you all, if you're single, you're going to meet somebody in Leo season, okay? Ace of Wands, your energy, the hermit. And then you have the high priestess. Not the high priest, I'm sorry, the empress. Um, the empress is Libra Taurus energy also. Um, did I say Adele? Adele is a Taurus, if I didn't mention that earlier. My apologies. But you do have Taurus and also Libra energy here. So it could be a Taurus that you're meeting as well. Also, I always tell you guys, for every empress, there's an emperor, vice versa, same sex, how it resonates with you. That's a divine counterpart. So some of you are not just, not only are you meeting, you know, a new person, but you're meeting somebody who knows your value, who knows your worth, pinnacles hold worth, and this person is going to, it looks like things are going to go to a level where it's going to be commitment, long-term commitment. This person who's coming in, can have a first, middle, or last initial of P, E, O, F, or S. Again, P, E, O, F, or S. 
first, middle, last initial for this person coming in. Now, for those of you, if, you, if something ended in Taurus season, it could have ended because this person was immature, okay? Because pages are young, youthful, they still got growing and expanding to do. So this person could have been immature with a page here. You know, it's not a king or a queen. This person could have just been very immature. It didn't have to be cheating, things like that. It's just like, you may have felt like we're not on the same page. Yeah, look at this directly up on there. We're not on the same page. We don't want to go in the same direction, you know? So I'm getting that also. Currently at the bottom of the deck, you got the judgment card, reconciliation, bringing the situation back to life. Again, I feel like for a lot of you all, like I said earlier on, you and this person tend to get back together, break up, start talking, stop talking, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You know, the same old, lame, old routine. And this person felt like you would always be there. And they didn't realize that you were allowing yourself to be open. Those hands are accepting, open to accepting. They didn't know that you were open and ready to accept new love. That's not what stops this person from trying to come back in. And I want to tell you also, if you, this person resonates with you, right, and you haven't heard from this person or anything like that, keep in mind, Mercury Retrograde does start in Leo season, August 1st. You guys know Mercury Retrograde always brings the exes in, always brings communication from people that you have not had proper closure, things have not been cut off properly. It always comes back one way or another, either in a spiritual realm, like you dream about this person a lot, thinking about this person a lot, or physically, here in the physical, this person calls, texts, things like that, okay? So that's part of the deck. You got the four of wands, marriage and long-term commitment. I'm going to say this again. Some of you guys want to marry some a new, but the next person, if you meet somebody, if you meet somebody in Leo season, it looks like you're going to end up marrying this person. Invite me to your wedding, I'm going to come, okay? Because I told you it was going to happen. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, for some of you all, you're going to meet somebody in Leo season. And look, say Leo, you got the sun in reverse. Now, for me, it's not that... You're not going to meet this person. I feel like it's in reverse because the sun hasn't came up yet because we haven't made it to Leo season yet. So this person isn't in your life yet. I'm telling you, for a lot of you guys, Leo person or you're going to meet this person Leo season. Confirmation now is upright. Now also with the Ten of Swords, stabbed in the back, let down and being betrayed. Keep in mind, it's multiple scenarios. Put the pieces where it resonates for your story. For some of y'all, there was an ending because of betrayal with a Leo. And then for others, you're coming out of betrayal and you're going to meet somebody new in Leo season. Okay, I just heard this is the last shuffle. Let's get your clarifier for the Ace of Wands. You have the, <laughs> you got the Emperor. Then I say that's a pair. Now, whenever you have one of these individuals in reverse, somebody is not stepping up to the place. Somebody is not ready for their union. <clears throat> for some of you guys, this felt like an extremely strong soulmate relationship and that's why you keep doing the back and forth with this person because you feel like this person is your twin flame or your soulmate you feel like it's faded and destined and it is but it's not faded and destined for you to keep going through a cycle over and over and over again if both parties aren't ready it can't work for some of you all you're like okay if you're not working i'm gonna go ahead and take my love elsewhere and i feel like this is really gonna drop somebody upside down it's gonna have it's just gonna flip their whole world upside down because they can't believe that you actually moved on or you're moving on Let's get a clarifier for the Ace of Wands. Oh, quickly, quickly, quickly. You had this flip out and sideways again. It's like this person is going to try to come back towards you. You got the Queen of Wands in reverse. Leo. Eight of Swords in reverse. Mental imprisonment, feeling stuck, feeling bound in reverse. Coming out of that. And then you got the Fool card taking a leap of faith into something new. This combination makes me feel like somebody is no longer being foolish. Not calling anybody out their name, but you hear what I'm saying here. Somebody is no longer being foolish. Like, I'm not entertaining this. I'm not going to keep going back and forth with you. I'm moving on. Um, again, I keep getting with, with some energy with Leo here. That Queen of Wands, I definitely feel like some of you guys ended something with a Leo. Or someone who has strong Leo placements in their chart. And then also, I feel like for a lot of you all, because she's one of the most powerful queens in the whole entire deck of tarot, especially if you're a female, it's like you, you lost all sense of passion in association with this person. This person may have made you feel burnt out because fire. You felt burnt out dealing with this connection, dealing with this situation with this individual. You just felt like you didn't have any more zest for life. This situation for a lot of y'all was very draining, okay? This Empress still at the bottom of the deck. Let's get a clarify for the Empress. Universal energies of light, love, and divine protection. Look at that. You guys are watching it. That flipped out quick. Two of Cups in reverse. I'm going to say again, I can't make this up, y'all. It's, it's a lot of Leo stuff here. You see that? So the Two of Cups is soulmates, unions, equal give and take reciprocity you got in reverse this person was not giving equally and so you decided to move on or you're going to be doing that if you look at it how i picked the cards up on the table 
her back is facing that two of cups. Like, I'm not going to keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. I'm not doing it. It's exhausting. Because even here, you got these circles. You can't go anywhere but that circle over and over. She even has a circle behind her over and over. So it's like you were going through the same thing over and over with this person until you're like, enough is enough. For some of you all, you could be currently going through it now. And in cancer season, which we are in now, because you have cups, cancer, my Scorpio, you may be like, you know what? I, I can't do this anymore. I'm done. And I'm going to say again, I feel like this is really going to trip this person up. They can't believe it. Male or female, they can't believe that you have like ended things because for some of you all you're going to be ending things with this person and you're going to be opening yourself up to accepting new accepting what wants you you know what i mean not trying to force somebody to understand your value or you know because sometimes people overcompensate right they overcompensate to prove to people that i am the one i'm worthy why don't you treat me like this if someone knows your worth you don't even have to say all that you don't even have to do all that they're just going to treat you accordingly so this this is somebody who was on bs and i feel like you know it now and you're like mm-mm I'm done with it. I am done with it. Yeah, some of you guys got a hater. It's like if they see that you have moved on. A lot of you are a single, not a pinnacle single, I'm a single man. But a lot of them realizing like you're doing better without them. Because I feel like for some of you all, you were struggling with them, possibly even financially. And it's like since they moved on, it was like you dropped the heavy weight. Now your money is free. Now you're able to look good and buy the things that you want and live the lifestyle that you want because you don't have someone oppressing you. And it's like, if you're posting things, I am seeing somebody posting things like beautiful screen, you know, like um, pictures. And I almost said screenshots and there's no such thing as accident, right? So when I'm saying screenshots, for some of y'all, somebody is taking screenshots of your photos and just looking at them. And I'm not getting in a creepy way. It's just like they admire you and they realize that they, they mess things up real bad. I mean, real bad. Huh. Okay. So, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click the notification button, and until next time, take care and be well. Bye.